we are going to discuss synchronous 4 bit full length counter. So, 4 bits full length counter means its counting sequence will be ranging from 0 to 15 because 4 bits can have maximum combination that is 1 1 1 1 which is nothing but 15. So, how to design the respective circuit and how to get the respective inputs for the flip flops. As it is a 4 bit counter, so I shall be requiring 4 flip flops for it. So, here is the respective counting sequence. So, we are having A, B, C, D ranging from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. So, that is our 0 to 15. So, we are having this one that is the excitation table of JK flip flop. So, from 0 to 0 transition required input will be 0, 1, 0 x rather. 0 to 1 transition required input will be 1 x. 1 to 0 transition required input for JK will be x 1 and 1 to 1 transition in the output the JK input will be x 0. So, 0 x x 1 1 x x 0. So, this is the respective sequence. So, 0 x 1 x x 1 x 0. Okay. Now, see we shall consider this A column and we shall fill up this J A K A. So, we have done the color matching accordingly. We shall fill up this B column, we shall consider this B column and we shall fill up this J B K B in this way. So, let me discuss this A and how to fill up this J A K A. So, 0 to 0 transition I require 0 x it is written there. So, 0 to 0 transition 0 x, 0 to 0 transition 0 x, 0 to 0 transition I require the input as 0 x, 0 to 0 transition 0 x, 0 to 0 transition 0 x in this way I am just proceeding and whenever I will be having this 0 to 1 transition 1 x. So, 0 to 1 transition I require the input as 1 x and then 1 to 1 means x 0, 1 to 1 means x 0 and in this way when we shall have 0 0 0 0 then again I shall be having the uh, input uh, the output will be changing from this 1 to 0 then input should be x 1 because 1 to 0 means x 1. So, in this way I have filled up this J A K A column looking at B J B K B looking at looking at C and D we have filled up this J C K C and J D K D respectively. So, now this is the respective Carnot maps we are having. So, that is J A K A J B K B J C K C J D and K D. So, we plotted all this from this outputs. So, J K A J B K B in this way we have plotted them. So, let me tell you this one 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 x x x x x x x x. So, that is the uh, J column. So, if you go for here 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 x x x x x x x x x in this way I have done. So, this is the covering I am getting this one as B C D here also B C D C D here also C D in this way I have done the respective uh, boolean functions we have derived from the Carnot maps. So, how many Carnot maps we have plotted? We have plotted 8 Carnot maps for J K J B K B J C K C and J D K D. So, accordingly the circuit has been made same whatever the Carnot map you got we have made the same circuit as it is a synchronous counter. So, all the flip flops will get clock pulse from the same source with the same frequency and time period and whatever the uh, inputs we got here the respective circuit has been made. Let me go for some cross checks. So, here you see this is my A B C D. So, it is our MSB and it is our LSB. Okay. Now, see we are having this J A as B C D K A as B C D. So, just you see we have done the same. So, this J A and K A we have given this and gets output to this and what is what are the inputs to this. So, B C and this one is D. So, B C D output has been provided to J A and K A. Say so, again go for another one J B is C D and K B is C D. Okay? See. So, this is my J B this is my K B because it is the B output. So, here we are getting this output from here and it is nothing but C and D. In this way the circuit has been constructed and that is my simulation output whatever we were expecting. So, this is my 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 means 1 0 0 1 0 that is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 means all ones. So, in this way the simulation output has been tested. These are the parts list I require. I must be making flip-flop initialization all zero mode otherwise the circuit will not work. There is a analysis setup transient, there is a dig clock on time and off time whatever were required we have done that one and we have mentioned that one. From here you can easily design the circuit otherwise you can go for the demonstration video where I shall show you that how to design the circuit and how to test the circuit in the simulation mode. So, here is the demonstration for you only. Here we are designing the synchronous counter using JK flop and here the IC number is 7476. So, as it is a 4 bit counter, so that is why I require 4 JK flops accordingly. So, I am just putting them. So, 4 JK flops I put. So, this one let it be get A, this one I am making this one as get B because 7476 is containing dual JK flip flop. So that means two flip flops in one IC. So for four flip flops I require two ICs in this case. So this is mine, this is mine A, this is my B, this is my C and the last one is D. From here also we can also select the get number that is A or B. Okay. Now, J, K should be having B, C, D, J, B, K, B should be having C, D, J, C, K, C should be D and J, D, K, D should be 1. So, as it is 1, so I can put high there. Control R for rotate. I'm putting one clock pulse ditch clock as it is a synchronous counter so that's why all the flip flops will get the clock pulse from the same source No blank spaces are allowed, so I am giving one hyphen there in between or underscore can also work. So clock pulses are connected. Now all these preset and clear are to be disabled. So that is why I require a high for all of them. Doing the necessary connections for them. So accordingly the circuit has been formed. So now we shall do the connections. So JDKD11 we have done already because that is a D output that is a D flip flop. So now this is our C flip flop. So that is a C. So JK flip flop with the level D, JK flip flop with the level C. So C flip flop will have the D and D for JCKC. So D means this one. So it has been done. 
so now i shall be having jbkb with cd so jbkb means this one so let me bring one and get so i require to have here c and d as inputs so this is my d and this is my c okay now it would be bcd so already i have got this cd here so let me connect it to jbkb and i can take another and get there i can take this cd as input and then i shall give b to it here this this is our a this is our b flip flop this is c this is d i can also do the circuit in the reverse way also so in the both way the circuit will work that means putting d on the left hand side so the circuit has been drawn completely so this inputs we have provided clear preset we have taken care of that we have provided the clock pulses and everything is okay now so let me go to the simulation that is before going for the simulation going for setup analysis digital setup all zeros it is mandatory to be done then it is okay transient so four bits means i require 16 combinations so if i make this one as 0.5 millisecond for print step so i can go for 8 milliseconds so that i can have all the 16 combinations there so it is okay so simulation part we have covered now let us put uh, some voltage markers there so making the clock pulse here then here then here so it is okay for the clock i require this one as 0.5 millisecond on time 0.5 millisecond off time so clock is also okay we have done the required parameter setting now let us go for the simulation so let me check once again the respective uh, analysis setup so we did this all zeros are there and here the transient is about this so 0.5 millisecond will be print step so 0.5 millisecond and 0.5 millisecond low and high will make one clock pulse so i require to have here 16 number of clock pulses i require so i'm just making this one as 16 ms so now going for okay close this one going for the output so this is output i have got so here we are having this uh, clock pulses are there and accordingly you can find this that in the first clock pulse period we are having all zeros in the second clock pulse we are having this uh, this throughout this particular period of time we are having this 0001 then we are having for this clock pulse period i am having 0010 0011 0100 you can find this one 0101 0110 and then we are having 0111 now here 101 there is a one here so 1000 1001 1010 so if you if you proceed in this way you are getting at the last i'm getting 1111 that is 15 so from 0 to 15 i'm getting all the outputs accordingly so in this way my simulation tells that the circuit is working fine and how to how to do the simulation testing we have shown you and how to draw the circuit what are the different uh, uh, components or parts required to draw the circuit we have explained this one in a detailed way if you do such 
synchronous counter design such circuit design you should do for other counting sequences please do work hard on this particular topic and leave your comments your doubts your queries in the comment block we shall do the needful correspondences with you and thanks for watching this video